that will go over the kosher dietary laws with the Jewish people. It's in Leviticus 11, Exodus 22, Deuteronomy 14, if you'd like to look it up. There's four categories, animals, birds, fish, and insect. We're only going to go over the three, land animals, birds, and fish. So for land animals, the criteria is that they have to have split hooves and chew their cud, meaning they have a rumen. So animals that fulfill this would have, well, cows, sheep, goats, deer, buffalo, giraffe. The animals that don't really fulfill this is rabbits. They don't really have split hooves. And pigs, so they don't chew their cud. And also camels, but don't call me on that one. Birds, the Bible gets a list of 20 birds that are carrions, meaning they eat other flesh. So animals have to be non-carrions for birds to be kosher. The fish is that they have to have at least one scale, one fin. This could be a dolphin and a shark would not fulfill this because they don't really have scales. And the purpose of these kosher laws, as according to Milgram in his essay on dietary laws, is that they are all ascribing to a higher ethical system that's uh, laid down by biblical law. So the Bible is very unique in the fact that it has prohibition of uh, drinking, eating of an animal's blood. So before you eat the animal, you have to drain its blood. Whereas other cultures around the ancient Near Eastern time did not prohibit this. And also, if you look at um, another rule is that you should not boil a kid in its mother's milk. That's also very ethical and very humane and, you know, sensitive to animals. And Milgram also says that this also um, teaches Jews not to be slaughterers or predators. Basically, if you are what you eat, then you want to eat herbivores. You do not want to eat uh, carnivorous animals. That would make you more carnivorous. And Milgram says that before um, Adam ate the forbidden fruit, humankind was vegetarians. And it was in Genesis 9 that God conceded to uh, people eating flesh of animals um, to satisfy their, you know, their lush, lust for flesh. Okay. So then my professor says that um, there's also a separation a concept that's involved here that you want to separate yourself from others and this is a key uh, um, well, it's one of the key ideas in the Bible that the Israelites are separated from other nations um, so and also um, giving people details is really good for a philosophical system just in case anybody have questions and you want to go into more details so that would be the kosher loss